Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Microsoft Office or Microsoft Windows in general is unable to find the winword.exe. Make sure you type the name correctly and then try again. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. The first thing you want to do is make sure you've closed out of any Office program. So Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, just close out all of them. And then you want to go open up the Start menu. Type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check on back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the File tab and then Export. File name, I normally recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. And now we are ready to begin. So we're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Now you want to locate Windows NT. And double-click on it. And now you want to go locate current version. Double-click on that. Now locate the image file execution options and just expand that. So now that you've expanded this, you want to go down to winword.exe right here. Again, if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. And like I said, now you want to go ahead and just right click on the winword.exe folder, select delete. Be sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its subkeys. Go ahead and select Yes. Once you've done that, you want to close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and then your issue should have been resolved at that point. So I will actually go ahead and restart the computer just to show you guys that we didn't delete Microsoft Word. If there was any sort of doubt, which there really shouldn't be, but I will restart the system here. And now that we're back in the Windows, we open up Word. Just to show you guys it all still works. And there you go, simple as that. So pretty straightforward process. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.